because it's already super late it already rained and everything i went to work came back home changed my clothes and yeah today is a super boring day in the night guys wow so um i am right now printing where can oh there it is i am printing some schoolwork. um yeah so we can get ahead with all the school crap that's my friday guys so that's my friday okay so um this is me wearing no makeup for like a whole month straight <laughs> so um I'm Stephanie's um, catching up with his math um, homework so I decided to hop in and go with lesson number six of two of 12 lessons that I learned during 2020 on the 12 days of Christmas that's a long ass intro okay anyway so my lesson number six will be every problem it's an opportunity to grow I know I sound like a I don't know Oprah over here but listen it is true and this year has proved has proved us that okay I know it's been crazy I know it's not been easy I know that a lot of people have struggled but if you are struggling it's because you have truly not taken advantage of all the things that this year has actually given us the chance like a lot of us a lot of businesses had to pivot you know we have to change plans we have to refocus things redo things like this is my plan for 2020 like we have to like okay new plan you know what i mean i totally get it but if you really like sit down and take okay can what lesson can i learn from this um what advantages can i take from this you will realize that whatever happened this year it was an opportunity for you to grow and not just because of, of quarantine or anything like that, but any other thing that had happened to us, it's a lesson to grow. And one of those things for me was when I had to um, try homeschooling. <laughs> Listen, I'm a pro on homeschooling, like I'm preaching homeschooling and that's all my goals, hashtag goals and all that stuff. But if I wasn't doing homeschooling yet, it was because I was waiting for me to like have a good income from my business so that way I can then pay somebody to do homeschooling to my kids, okay? I was never saying hashtag I want to homeschool. And yeah, <laughs> it made me realize um, the amount of work, effort that it takes. So maybe one day when I finally have that person that I can pay, um, I can appreciate them in a good salary. And another thing that came is, you know, I had to learn how to really manage well my time. I need to really be consistent, be like strict with myself, have a boundaries, have routines, implement things and get things in order. You know, it forced me to get organized AF and get things done because this 33 year old mom, it's in sixth grade and fourth grade like literally I have to sit down read the whole paperwork I had to figure out how to do everything so then I can sit down and explain that to the boys in both I have to explain it first in English so they, they know what the heck and blah I'm talking about so then I can then explain it in Spanish so they can understand like the words and terms in Spanish so when they go back to school or they are reading something when they're trying to do their homework they read the words and they're like okay I know what this means now um sometimes i have to go to youtube you know sometimes i have to go to google like <sighs> anyway i had to learn a lot of things but you know what it made me stronger it made me more responsible it made me more organized and it teach me the importance of me like keep going you know it also another big lesson was on my business um me not having since my, the work i go clean airbnbs right and they close for a remodel and it teach me like you know what that job is not secure no matter what it's not a secure job and i i had to push myself 
a little bit more harder to keep working on my dreams you know because you never know like it's a physical job and it got affected at first with all the coronavirus and all that stuff the pandemic but at the same time it it didn't it's it's a yes and a no because at some point people were trying to be tired of being at home so they started to go out but at the same time it was not the same right so my income went low and then they decided to close and remodel and then they reopened and now they even taking hours away from me to give it to another person because i ask only for sundays but they decided to also give them person weekdays so now i did not just have less work because i'm not working sunday but now they're taking hours from my week and honestly i'm not even making half i'm barely making half of what i was making and i had plans me thinking that i was gonna earn the same amount of money and things changed and i had to pivot i had now to force myself to keep doing the things that i'm doing like it's come to a point where i'm like okay it's time you know i need to get out of my comfort zone i'm way too comfortable in my job and i need to push myself to do things and I learned you know I learned to appreciate me being at home with my kids it learned helped me to appreciate that being at home all together as a family it's important like before they were in school I was out working I was out doing stuff and now like we get the chance to like be together and you know I am not missing out on anything about them so it helped me to appreciate more the fact that I'm building this business where I can work from home. It has helped me to appreciate the fact that um, I can work from home, make my own income, and I depend on anybody else giving me my hours. Like if I want these hours, if I want this amount of money, I can do it without nobody else affecting me, deciding if I'm getting them or not. It, it has, it's, there's been so much that I have learned this year when it comes to like my career and me as a person as a mom that it's insane and if you will catch me like years ago I will be complaining I will be crying I probably will be on Facebook or anything like that talking BS you know I used to be that crazy person um, I probably will be mad at everybody and now I'm like you know what this is this is the universe pushing me you know this is meant to happen this is the universe telling me girl you are way too comfortable it's time to get your butt out of there and get moving if you know what I mean so. okay lesson number C is that every problem is an opportunity to grow instead of asking my, yourself like why me oh my god and complaining and playing the victim like trying to figure it out what is the universe telling you what are you learning from this what what what, what's an opportunity? What, what advantage can you take from this situation happening to you? So, anyway. So, I'm waiting for one of my kids to finish so that way I can look out from his school stuff and then go to the other child. Yes, I still have a whole other grade, sixth grade. I just finished with fourth grade. Today is the last day of school. Praise the universe, the higher being. Thank you, universe. Thank you, whoever you are. I'm finally getting a break for the damn school and yeah girl that's that's life you know My YouTube channel uh, for a while now and at first it was going to be like a health and wellness um, YouTube channel but then I decided to change it and make it more like a vlog a lifestyle vlog where you share my journey as a entrepreneur boss mom lifestyle um, and also my health and wellness journey but this is like my life overall lifestyle so I just realized um, that I had a podcast I just remember that I had a podcast and my podcast was Stephanie Wanna's podcast because the videos that I would love the videos what I used to what I used to do is that I will extract the audio from the videos that I was gonna make on YouTube and then download the audio on my podcast but then I just realized that, hey, if 
my YouTube channel is going to be more about lifestyle and stuff like that, that means that the podcast is not going to make sense anymore. At least not the, the, the name of the podcast or anything like that. So I had to rebrand my podcast. And now I'm struggling because I'm working with the new cover. And I don't know what to choose. Because I'm trying to like make it like more my brand my style but at the same time it's looking not that elegant but when i try to make it look elegant something it's missing if it makes any sense so i'm like oh i'm struggling here so let me show you okay so right now i have five choices i really like how this one looks but it doesn't look like super elegant or anything like that it is pretty but it's not elegant so i added this because this is more my brand i use this a lot in my logos and stuff like that but still i don't know i like it but i don't know and here i took this white square out so it can look a little bit more prettier and i think i like that one to be honest um, and I also had this and I like this one because I have the mug in my hands and it looks more like a nice me conversation sitting, it looks like I'm sitting down with you and like having this conversation live conversations with you with our nice hot coffee on our hands so I did it with the the square and I did it without the square and I again I think I'm going without the squares so I think we're gonna be down from three to from three from Friday three if it makes any sense <laughs> There's a coupon. I think that's a happy holidays little letter yes. from the you know what what? Alright guys, so I just finished. Um I decided to make a vote. So I have people voting on Instagram and Facebook. So I guess I'll let you know tomorrow which one won. Jesus, I'm a freaking disaster anyway. <laughs> um so yeah i also uploaded already two new episodes they are from stefmas from this series um i did two um episodes it was day five and seven if i'm not mistaken where i actually sat down and i did one where i talked to you about five things i learned in 2020 and i have another one where i talked to you about my 2021 goals so i uploaded those two episodes already um in my podcast um, so that way it doesn't look so lonely because we only had two episodes and the other one that I could post are already too late for that <laughs> so yeah um, I think what I'm also going to do is that all of my tea Tuesdays I haven't loaded a tea Tuesday because I've been doing this every single day that I do not have time for tea Tuesdays <laughs> Um, but what I'm gonna do is that Tea Tuesdays will also go on my podcast. At beginning, Tea Tuesdays was supposed to be just for Stephanie Warner's community. That's my private Facebook group. Um, and also, like, I really want to grow the podcast as well. And the best way for me to grow the podcast without complicating my life, like keeping it simple, is to download all the videos that I actually like sit down and talk with you. And Tea Tuesdays are basically videos like that where I just go real quick and sit down with you and talk about something, tell, tell you something. So um, I know they're going to be good for my podcast as well. So because um, my, YouTube, my YouTube videos are not always going to be sit down videos. So it's more vlog lifestyle. So for those days that I am not sitting down talking with you, I'm going to have anyways my everyday 
my every week episode because T Tuesdays goes every Tuesday. So after we finish with Steph Mas, we're gonna go back to our T Tuesdays. If you wanna watch the video, you have to join my Stephanie Wellness um, community. Um, it's completely free. You don't have to like purchase anything, any program or nothing. It's completely free. So if you want to watch the video, you can go to Stephanie Wanna's community. And if you just want to listen to it, then you can go to my podcast. Ah. All right. With that said, I am freaking done for the day. I am ready to do everything that is not work. Okay. Like my bed is a disaster. I need to reorganize my bed. And get my butt over there. Get my small Puerto Rican ass over there and watch it down there. What? Oh, oh my goodness. There we go. Mom left. Anyway, um, so yeah, I've been watching. I started the X-Men series, Chronicles, movies, whatever you want to call it, saga. There's too many stuff I'm turning in here and I cannot talk. And nobody's look at this. You're not watching? I watch it. No, you're not. I don't see you sitting down. I see you in your bar in your brother's room. No, I'm watching Spongebob. You're not watching Spongebob, so you better sit down over there. I'm gonna turn it off, young lady. Anyway. Oh, so yeah, we started the X-Men movies. I already saw I know I watched them, but I honestly don't remember it and as you know they do a movie and then suddenly they make another one from like it's supposed to happen before and I get the freaking mess okay too much for my brain so now they are finally done or there's a bunch of them I don't know uh probably gonna be more out but at least now I can catch up with what's already there and I already watched the first two in order kind of chronology chronological order I it was supposed to happen no as it get released so yeah today I guess we're gonna watch um the third one um Stefan already told me like mommy can we watch X Men more tonight and I was like hell yeah yeah anyway <sighs> yes guys so um thank you so much for watching this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hear that notification bell so that way you get notified every time a new video goes live and i will see you tomorrow on stephma's day 19. oh my gosh it's almost christmas